What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie, where we dive deep into the world of Linux and open doors to the tech field for everyone. And in today's video, I'm thrilled to guide you through the powerful tool every Linux systems administrator should have in their arsenal, an SD IP command. So whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting, this tutorial is designed to elevate your network configuration skills. So let's not wait any longer and get right into it. The IP command is a versatile utility, part of the IP route to package, and it comes standard on all modern Linux distributions. It's essentially the Swiss Army knife for network interface configuration, allowing you to bring interfaces up and down, assign and remove IP addresses, as well as routes, and also managing ARP cache and a whole lot more. Now, unlike older tools like ifconfig, the IP command offers a more comprehensive view and control over your network interfaces. And today I wanted to explore a syntax key sub commands such as link, address, routes, and how to use them effectively. Because understanding these commands is crucial for any systems administrator looking to manage their network interfaces with precision. So let's dive into some practical examples. Before we move forward, I want to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm logged into my virtual machine. This is Ubuntu and let's go through the IP command and let's start off by opening up the terminal and let's make it big so you guys can see everything I'm typing. And this will work the exact same way on pretty much any Linux distribution. They all have the IP command. And like I stated earlier, it kind of took over for the IF config command, but it has a whole lot more features. So the first thing I like to do is show the manual for any command that I want to go through with you guys. And this is something I recommend you guys look at. This will give you all the information you need explaining how to run the command as well as all the options and all that good stuff. So let's type man and then IP press enter. It'll open up that manual and you can go through it. Like I said, it covers pretty much any and everything you think of about the command. It's essentially the manual. So let's quit. I just wanted to show you guys how to get to it, but let's start off by displaying all the network interfaces and their IP addresses. And this is the base level of the command. So let's start off with IP and then address. This is the full version of it. So it's A D D R and then show and press enter. Boom. And I'll go through and show you all the interfaces on the system as well as the IP addresses so associated with it. And so this LO is the loopback. So just ignore, but this is the one interface that we have on here. And the name may be different. It's all dependent on what the operating system names it. But typically it is E N S 18 but you may see something different and then also an alternate name which is typically longer this is the way it used to show the emp 0 s 18 like like a longer version of it but they shorten it so it's e n s 18 so that's the name of the interface and also if you look through here i know it's a little confusing but if you look through here you see the ip addresses associated with it and then also like the link information or the mac address information the network the type of network so 24 the broadcast address you know and a lot of information dealing with this ip address and then also the version 6 address you'll see that as well and then let me show you guys the shortened version of this command and let's clear right fast but you see how long that is that we typed up here at the top so the ip address show well you can simply type ip a and i'll show you pretty much the exact same thing it's just a shortened version of the command so you can run it just like this and it'll give you the same information now let me clear again and let's display a specific network interface and actually let's run that ipa again one more time 
and basically what I want to do is just look at this specific interface you can even look at the loopback address if you wanted to you just have to specify it a certain way so let me go down and clear and type it in for you guys so you guys can see but it's basically IP same way we looked at the address so ADD or and then show and you have to type dev so DEV and then the interface name so the interface name was ENS18 press enter and I'll give us just that information and then also like I said the same what same exact way you can do the loopback address so same command you can type hello and I'll show you the loopback information so you can specify a specific network interface so let's say you have multiple interfaces on here and you want to look at one specifically or you want to display it or you want to write this information out to a text file or something to that effect you can use those options along with the IP address command in order to gather the information based on the interface so I just wanted to kind of show you guys that and just to quickly show you guys as well you can use that shortcut version of the ip command so if we type i'm gonna just press the up arrow and let's look at the loopback address but you don't have to type out address or the add or i'm just showing you the proper way or the way the application wanted you to use it originally when it was developed until they added these shortcuts you can use this ipa and then the exact same you know show and then dev and then let's you know that loopback address again but let's press enter boom it'll pull up same information as well as if we go ens18 press enter that'll pull up that information for that device and i use that shortcut version of ip address all right so now let me show you guys how to add ip addresses to a interface and one thing about adding to the interface or making changes to the interface in any way like you have to use sudo because it doesn't you know allow you to make these changes without sudo so all you have to do is type sudo ip address and then the option is add and then all you have to do is type in whatever ip address you want to add to this server or a system and i'm just use the next ip up from the one that's set on this system so 122 and then we also have to specify the network so this is a 24 network and then dev so and then also we have to specify that interface so ens18 and press enter and then we have to type in our pseudo passwords boom and now we've made those changes now if we run the show for that interface you'll see another ip address in here so you'll see the original one which was that 192.168.10.121 and then also you'll see the 122 address right here so we have a secondary address now note this ip address that we assign using this command will not stay permanently on the interface and the ip you know command makes changes that are only effective until the next system reboot and once the system restores you know all of those ip addresses that we may have added using the ip command will be lost it'll basically be wiped and in order to keep it you have to use other methods that make it persistence similar to the videos i've shown on setting a static ip address using that plan on ubuntu that's what we will have to use in order to set it statically on the system and i just wanted you guys to know that so if you set something here it's gonna wipe it when you reboot now let me quickly make the same change and remove that ip address so i'm gonna just press the up arrow go back to the command we did to add it and all we have to do is modify this command we have to type dell which is for delete so it's going to delete that ip address from this interface so let's press enter boom and let's run our show again of that interface and now you'll see that ip address is gone now another important thing let's say you want to close a link or take a network interface down then let me show you guys how to do that right fast so we're going to take down the ens18 and all you have to do is type sudo ip and then link set and then we want to set this interface to down but we have to specify first so ens18 and then we want to specify it down so let's press enter boom we go back in here actually if you're on a desktop environment you'll see it lose connection up here in a second there we go so you see it disconnected you are now offline and then also we can you know show in our terminal just to verify and you'll see that it's actually down so that network connection is down and all we have to do is do the opposite instead of it being down we want to make it up so let's walk through the command again sudo ip link set then the interface name and then up and this will bring it back up 
and essentially this system is using DHCP, so it'll get a dynamic IP address, so it'll grab that same IP address because it's leased to its machine from the DHCP server. But that's pretty much how you bring those links up and down. Now, let me show you guys another thing right fast, super simple. I wanna show you guys how to display the routing table if you want to. All you gotta do is type IP, and then routes and this will give you the routing table for the system and viewing the kernel routing table gives you kind of like insight into how traffic is routed through your network and so this will help you kind of like with network diagnostics and possible configurations that you want to make to the system now you can also add to the routing table and i'll show you guys an example of that as well so let's just use something random but sudo let's say ip routes and like I said, any changes that you make in, like adding, deleting, any changes, you have to type sudo. And then add, and then we have to specify a IP address network. So 192.168, and I'm gonna just make something up right fast. I'm gonna just go 20 dot zero, and then the type of network. So we have to do a 24 network. And then we have to specify where we wanna route the traffic from that network too. So we wanna route that to, let's say 192.168.10.1. So let's go down and press enter. And then let's type the IP routes again right fast so we can see our newly added routes. And as you can see, it's right here. So boom, you'll see that new route there. And you can quickly delete it by running pretty much the same command. Just don't have to specify the via. So let's take that off. Boom, keep that 24 on the end. And then all I gotta do is change the ads to Dell and that'll delete that route. So sudo IP route, let me move that out the way and then delete and then the route that you wanna delete. So let's go and press enter and then we can run that IP route again. So you can see that that change has been removed. So just wanted to show you guys that, I mean, removing the route from the routing table, like I said, it's super simple and it allows for the management and optimization of your network path. So super cool. Now, let me show you guys how to look at the ORP table. Now, ORP stands for Address Resolution Protocol. And let me clear so you guys can see. It's not that you know difficult to run. All you have to do is type IP and then N-E-I-G-H. And that's all you have to type. Press enter and this will show that ORP table. And as you can see, this is basically how IP addresses are mapped to the physical MAC addresses on the network. So you can see stable, reachable, but this is the MAC address associated with the, with the IP address of devices on the network. So super cool. Like I said, it's, it's used for network troubleshooting. Just wanted to give you guys an example of it. And so that wraps up my journey through the IP command. And I hope this tutorial sheds light on its power and flexibility, empowering you to manage your Linux network interfaces more effectively. Now remember, practice is key. I don't remember all these commands. A lot of times I have to look things up, but practice is key to mastering these commands. So I encourage you to kind of like experiment and explore and that's why i can't really show you every different scenario on here using this command so make sure you practice make sure you do your research to figure out how to effectively use this based on the network that you're on and if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to the keep it Tech channel for more linux tips and tricks your support helps me grow and continue bringing valuable content to the tech community if you got any questions or feedback drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, keep it techie.